Hello YouTube, I'm Matt Productions, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a comprehensive guide for starting out in Minecraft, and it's focused more towards beginners, but of course more advanced players are welcome to watch and follow along with this video. I'm going to be offering a lot of tips and tricks, so without further ado, let's get into this video. So of course when starting a brand new Minecraft world, you're going to want to give your world a name. I recommend picking a name that correlates with your goals in the game. Don't think too much about it though, it's just a name. Of course, I recommend making sure that you have your cheats off because cheating is a, a temptation in this game and it's more fun if you don't cheat. You can also change game rules if you want. So there's all kinds of things that you can manipulate here, but I really just recommend leaving everything completely how it is for the uh, original Minecraft experience, if you will. Now in more world options, if you are a beginner, I highly recommend using the bonus chest. A lot of people will say not to use it, but I don't really think there's anything wrong with having a bonus bonus chest just to get you started. For beginners, it makes things a lot easier, so don't be afraid to use this bonus chest. And of course, you can create your world. Now when you spawn into your Minecraft world, the first thing that I recommend that you do is actually go into your settings, believe it or not. Make sure you have all your settings configured the way you want, your video settings, your field of vision settings. Make sure you have it all to what you want it to be. And then of course, back into the game. Well, this bonus chest spawned over the water, that's pretty weird. But of course, like I said earlier, bonus chests are full of useful items, and I really don't think there's much shame for a new player in nabbing some of these starter items. And of course, the chest itself. Obviously, I'm sure even inexperienced players know that getting wood is one of the first things that you should do in Minecraft. But just know that don't spend your entire first day in Minecraft gathering wood. You don't need all of that much wood. I recommend somewhere around 32 pieces of logs. Even less, you don't need that much. Now, of course, you're going to want to build a crafting table if you want to make a pickaxe, but we did actually receive a wooden pickaxe in our bonus chest. And of course, we want to gather some stone so we can make better tools. Now, some people might be inclined to make a bunch of wooden tools first, but I highly recommend you only make a wooden pickaxe and then just go straight to stone tools since it's so easy to get a set of stone tools. Literally, all you need to do is mine nine pieces of stone, which takes less than a minute with a wooden pickaxe. So there you go. We already made enough for a set of stone tools. Of course, you would want to also mine enough probably for a furnace. Now that we have our stone tools, we should start thinking about a food source because food is obviously uh, something in this game that you need to watch out for. Oh, and this is actually a bonus. If you see coal in the wall, you're probably going to want to mine a little bit of that up. But like I was saying, we want to focus on food here. We wouldn't want to starve to death. It happened to me when I was learning how to play this game. But as you can see, there's just some nice little animals right here. You're going to want to use your sword to uh, take care of them, if you will, and take care of yourself by feeding yourself. And don't forget that jumping up and then attacking will give you more damage done to the mob. If you don't have many animals around, you can always check a local stream or river for some fish swimming around. They actually make a pretty decent food source in the beginning of the game. I've actually found some right here, so as you can see, they're actually one-hit kills with a stone sword, and we've already scored some fish. Now, something in this game that is ever-present is, of course, dangers. If you see something like this, you might be intrigued to explore it right away, but that is dangerous down there. There's definitely monsters that want to kill you, so avoid stuff like this right now. You can always come back to it later. Another tip I'd like to mention is avoid sprinting right away. This decreases your hunger much, much faster than normal, and food resources are, of course, slim, no matter what in the beginning of the game, so... Avoid sprinting, unless you really need to. The next tip I have to offer, and this could be a make or break for surviving the night, is finding a village. Of course, you don't have to find a village if you don't want to, but if you're having trouble surviving your first nights in Minecraft, a village could mean the difference between life or death. If you have any high points around you, like a mountain per se, you could climb to the top of the mountain, go into your settings, go to options, and lower your FOV, and then scan the surrounding area for villages because if you find a village that village could have a bed in it it could have food in it and light that will keep the monsters away and of course shelter to increase your chances of finding a village you can increase your render distance although this might introduce some lag into the game your chances of finding a village are of course higher if more chunks are loaded i increased my render distance here to the max value and and it looks like we aren't lucky this time. I don't see any villages in the distance, and uh, the sun is setting anyways. So let's talk about a temporary shelter. Since the sun is setting, we need to build a temporary shelter 
to survive the night. We did dig up some wood and we could build it out of wood if we want. Don't worry about making your shelter too large and honestly, building it in the side of the mountain will give you a backspace to save materials to use as a wall instead of more wood. And also there won't be any monsters lurking behind this to attack us. So this can be a good first shelter. And make sure you craft some torches to light up. While you're waiting for the night to pass in your safety shelter, you can do some crafting. Of course, craft that furnace we were talking about earlier. And start smelting away some of that meat you collected during the daytime. And if you weren't able to find any coal sticking out of the walls, you can actually put logs in a furnace and cook it with regular wood planks to make charcoal to use for torches instead. Now I know it might seem tempting to run over there and attack those pigs during the nighttime, but it's a bad idea. Just avoid running out in the nighttime when you're in the beginning of the game because you could easily get killed. You're much safer just closing off in your safety shelter. Of course, when it is finally morning outside, you can step outside and all the monsters will be uh, burning in the daylight, or most of them. But don't forget, after the first night, creepers always can be lurking around. They don't burn in the day, so keep a sharp eye out for creepers. And of course, you want to destroy your safety shelter to conserve as much materials as possible. Again, even if you don't find a village your first night in Minecraft, I strongly recommend looking for a village during your second day. But if you do see sheep around like this, it's a good idea to try and attack them for their wool and meat to make yourself a bed and sleep through the night entirely. And here with our last one, we now have three of the same color wool. We can use that to make a bed and we won't have to worry about night times. And it looks like by climbing this mountain here, we've actually been able to uh, spot a village over there. Like I said before, if you lower your FOV, it's easier to spot the villages. But villages really are sort of safe havens in Minecraft and really can provide a lot of shelter, like I said earlier. They're really good just starting areas. They have renewable sources of food, shelter, like I said before, light and beds if you couldn't find any sheep. And here we are arriving at the village. Again, you could pick any one of these houses to live in. And there's also these blocks of wheat, which you can actually break and convert into wheat. And then, of course, you can convert that wheat into bread. So just sitting right here in this little pile spawned in naturally by this village is plenty of, of bread that could last you a very long time. And villages also have these iron golems that will actually attack mobs to keep the village safe. Most of these village houses are, you know, straight up houses and they also have beds in them, and sometimes even food items and chests. Now that we've secured a really decent shelter, we can actually talk about mining. Before we actually first start mining in Minecraft, there's a couple of items that we will want. Of course, plenty of food here. We'll want some torches. I'm gonna actually craft more with this coal and sticks right here. We'll want some basic stone tools, which we will be upgrading to iron tools once we find some iron. We'll want a furnace so we can smelt the iron that we find down there. We'll want wood, of course, to craft down there if we need to craft and a chest and a crafting table will be good as well if you were farther off in this game so far i would recommend more items and i already have tutorials on how to find diamonds for those but we're just looking to start mining in here and get some iron so these are the items i recommend for that now to actually find somewhere to mine out in the open world here we're of course going to want to look for some caves. And oh yeah, this is an important guy in the village. Not every village has them, but blacksmiths usually have really good items. We actually already have iron tools now, so we got pretty lucky there, but... Oh, and an iron helmet for armor. Of course, you put your armor on over here. So yeah, these guys can usually be a huge help in getting really good tools uh, starting off in Minecraft. But that's besides the fact, not every village will have those, and not everyone's going to be able to find a village anyways. So to find caves in Minecraft, you're going to want to scour the surrounding ground around for holes, of course. Some holes like this uh, aren't actually caves, but just lava pits, and those are super dangerous. I wouldn't recommend going to a lava pit yet. Well, here we go. This is actually a perfect example of a little cave down here. Caves in Minecraft are super dangerous. We can already hear monsters growling, and there's already three zombies down here uh, ready to attack us. Thankfully, we're pretty far above ground, so they can't just go right after us. But of course, we're going to want to travel with our sword out, ready to attack. We're going to want to be strategic strategic about the way we fight here. We don't really have any armor, so we're gonna let them walk over to us. As we can see here, this zombie's just gonna try to walk right up to us. He can't even get us from there. We're gonna get a little bit closer here, still maintaining high ground so he can't attack us. And we're gonna jump to get the most attacking force, and then on the fall, we're gonna attack them. 
Make sure you pay attention to that little attack bar in the center of your screen. You're doing the most amount of damage when that bar is full. Now the coast seems to be clear here, but never let your guard down here. Caves are super dangerous and we already have another pack of zombies headed towards us. We don't have high ground here, so we're going to do our best to attack these zombies without them hurting us. Of course, if you end up in a sticky situation, I recommend just straight up running away. All right, now the coast actually seems to be much more clear. We see some iron here and we're going to mine it. You're going to want to focus on making a set of iron tools with all the iron that you find down in the caves and one really special item that can only be made with iron that we're going to talk about here in a second. Now, once you have a decent amount of iron, we can find a safe little area away from all the dangers of the cave, plunk our furnace down, and start smelting the iron with some of that wood that you brought, or maybe some coal that you also mined up in the caves. I would recommend that over some wood. But once you've smelted at least one ingot of iron, we're going to actually want to craft something very important. We're going to go into our crafting table here. We're going to put a piece of iron at the top of the crafting table like so and then surround it with wood like this and put a piece of wood at the bottom and then we're making a shield. This is one of the most important items to surviving in Minecraft right now. It's a very, very useful item and especially for beginners because it only requires one piece of iron and we equip it right here like this. Of course, by holding down right click, you can block pretty much any attack by any mob in the game. And you can use the other iron that you collect to make yourself some armor and tools. Don't forget that iron pickaxe to make sure that you're mining for diamonds. And when you do want to mine diamonds, I actually recommend you watch my diamond mining tutorial make sure you don't mine straight down under you make sure you actually dig a staircase like this and keep it nice and torched up but for now that is all that i have for starting out in minecraft i hope this guide helped you guys and once you get iron tools i think you should be uh, better off to survive minecraft and face its perils thank you everyone for watching this tutorial i hope it helped some people out and i will be seeing you guys in the next video goodbye